I think a lot of us are under the operating under the working assumption that the Biden people will deny up to the last minute that they'll do any of the funny strategies. Uh, but then if push actually does come to shove, they will, and they'll mint a trillion dollar platinum coin, or they'll invoke uh, the constitution to claim that that actually, no matter what Congress says, in fact, we can keep uh, something. Um, yeah. There, we're, there's, we're, you know, there, there's a, there's now a menagerie of, of different exotic strategies that are all, all about, have, have zero economic significance. They're all about just um, exploiting the fine print in the laws to, uh, to avoid this thing. But if they can't do that, then uh, it could be really bad. Let's say that as you as you sort of hopefully predicted, it really comes down to the crunch. At the last moment, the uh, Biden Treasury says, under the Constitution, because of the 14th Amendment, we are going to continue on, that the debt ceiling law is unconstitutional, et cetera. My thought has been that be that because those new bonds will be under some constitutional cloud, that you kind of undermine it a lot, even by, even even by doing that. Is that true, or kind of the international bond world? They just say like, "Hey, you're still printing them. Who cares? We don't care how you did it." Well, the thing is, you can issue the new bonds, and uh, and they might trade at a discount, but you can use the money that you raise to continue servicing the old ones, which are not under a constitutional cloud. Right. Uh, and then there's there are other strategies. You issue bonds with no maturity. You issue consoles that that never come due, and the, do those add to the federal debt? But they certainly add to federal obligations. But you know, on the fine print of the law, does do they? Um, re, you know, there, there's a whole set of. And if there's one thing I think we do, America does many things well and many things badly. But one thing we do have is smart lawyers, and <laughs> I, I I would imagine that that there are that they have. I hope. I assume. That there is an ultra secret team of of lawyers, maybe working you know, under Cheyenne Mountain or something, uh, preparing <laughs> death strategies. Uh, they 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 know they they they're aware of the risks, and I can't I can't believe that they might well, well try all of the strategies, and you know for, force the uh, people who are trying to force a default to play whack a mole, trying to strike down all of the various ways that they're bypassing the debt limit. Right. I, I had someone, uh, uh, actually a law professor, explain to me, and even when he was explaining to me, I didn't completely understand it, but basically the way that you can issue bonds that have no face value, That's the point and, yet, and yet they will actually pay you in a way that, will, that they have tremendous value based on what they'll pay you in 10 years, and that all works somehow. Britain used to have those, a lot of consoles, but bonds that just paid a fixed amount every year forever. Right. What's right. the what's what's the how does that I mean it obviously is a debt but is it what number so it, that's one of them but there there are there are others there's it, it it's been amazing that you know just the part I see it I, I I assume again that there's a secret team working on on crisis planning but they I'm aware of at least I think six uh, strategies that are all ridiculous but. The situation is ridiculous, and right, right. At least one of them would probably work. So basically, the the economists and the politicians will fail us, but the lawyers may be our salvation. It sounds like that's or right. that's what we hope, right? <laughs> right. How very much a democratic administration, you know? Yeah.